Hello, and welcome once again to my corner of YouTube. My name, Fate. This game, The Secret World. This is my Let's Play number two. So, as you can see, we're on a road somewhere. On our way to King's Mouth. So let's head there and try to avoid some of the zombies. They seem to be everywhere. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's not avoid some of the zombies. Let's do something fun. Let's alert a couple of them. Yeah, you got quite the crowd going on. Oh, shit. Okay. That's just one of the few interesting game mechanics I figured I'd show off about this game. It's not too bad. Got clickable things like this. I can start a fire. Lead some zombies into it. That's not bad. Not bad. So, on our way to King's Mouth. This place looks peaceful. Let's see how it goes when we get there. So far, I've learned a few things about these zombies, but not a whole heck of a lot. They seem to be controlled by some race of undead sea folk or something. Undead mermen. I have no idea. The draw out of North Myth Norse mythology, apparently. Oh my god, shoot these things. Thank you. Okay, wow. Once you're done right, you gotta do it yourself. Okay, so. We are in the police station. We're gonna see if we can help anybody out. That's fine. Everybody always needs help during the zombie apocalypse. We've already helped this guy out earlier, so let's uh, talk to him you. again. Let's see what he's got to say. Now the walking dead? I can wrap my head around that. They're dead folk, just walking is all. But those other things? Tall and pale, slimy as maggots? They washed up with the fog. They, they, they came and dragged the townsfolk out to sea. Drowned them. Oh, just nice. like my dad with the kittens. More tentacles. He took them out to sea in a garbage bag. Said they were gonna go for a swim. Said okay. they needed the exercise. Perhaps they never came you should back. not be talking to me about this. Maybe you should see later. a therapist. Neither did my dad. Jeez, I, I still miss those kittens. That's messed up. The townsfolk, they did come back, dragging what looked like eggs. Yeah. The big ones, they come out of those eggs, like something from Invasion of the Body Snatchers. They're littered all over the place and guarded. And I'm thinking to myself, Andy, that's got to mean something. That's got to be a clue. <laughs> oh, I keep an eye on something clue. if it ain't valuable. That's police see, work. That's my, deduction, my plain and simple. So I'm thinking, what came first, the maggot or the egg? Obviously the egg, right? Right. We totally understand everything about these things. Well, when in doubt, shoot him. I guess. That's 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 what you want me to do, See right? You later. Shoot it. I guess. All right. Let's go shoot it. I guess. Off to the harbor. I like this game so far. It seems like a mix of follow these waypoints and do these things, but. I seem to be constantly running into situations where it's making me think, which is fun, actually. I was totally expecting kill ten of these, collect five of those, but I'm running into puzzles, which is really strange for an MMO. I haven't, I haven't seen puzzles or anything puzzle-like in an MMO since uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online. I think that's it's pretty unique, so I'm definitely enjoying myself so far. I've learned that I can sprint, make this process a little bit faster. As we run through these towns, the zombies are pretty preoccupied, but uh, I think some of them are kind of pissed off now. Oh, great. Um, we're just going to keep running. Jump over that bike. I can pick that up, ride it away. They'll lose interest, I'm sure. Eventually. Okay. We're almost at the 
Oh, we are at the harbor. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to have to kill some basics. Bring it on. Got myself a handy little throw. That laser beams of death. Oh, yeah. These are just return townies. So, from what I understand, the recently deceased and returned, they're a little more active. They're a little more limber. But the, the long deceased and returned are a little slower. And apparently, uh, people have been coming out of the water, too. Like these things. So, uh, apparently, I've got to kill three of these. Let's, let's have at her. And from what I've seen, there there are dungeons in this game, and solo dungeons at that too. So, I mean, that's I I, I died earlier. To be honest, I didn't get a chance to record any of that footage. It was hard. It was, it was very difficult. I had to think, had to avoid some traps, and do some stuff. But all right. Oh crap, I pulled two. That's not good. I'm probably gonna get the car kicked out of here. Not. Last time I fought one of these things, I just started playing. I just died. So we had to wander by and save my butt. So. Running away does seem to help. I'm not quite sure how much, but it does. So, hopefully. actually doing something and I'm not just running around like a moron. But, I mean, it seems like the best thing to do being ranged and all, so might as well. Okay, there we go. Alright, I got a new ability there. It's all seven right. points. I went to do my skill that I'd uh, just acquired and I died. So, well, I figured I'd show you guys what death looks like. This is my first experience running back to my body, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, got impaled. Wasn't fun. I doubt it tickled. So, but thankfully, uh, we're nearby the body, so not too far away. I should be able to resurrect in a timely manner and actually put in that skill point. So, there we go. Nice. All right, back in the land of the living. And I'm not quite sure what I, my, my anima residue. I'll figure out what that means later. Uh, from, for now, I've got to kill these maulers and destroy some brood pods. But I think this Let's Play has gone long enough for this episode. So I'll be back next time, hopefully with some more action, maybe a solo dungeon or something. And uh, I'll see you later.